The howl of another air raid siren brings Tehran to a virtual standstill. It means in just four minutes' time, an Iraqi missile will strike, wreaking more death and destruction in the war of the cities. Many people have already fled the capital in fear. Others now lead new lives in underground shelters. Deep below city center apartment blocks, families have formed subterranean ghettos for protection and company during the long hours of anxiety. There's no comfort or privacy and hardly any room for belongings. But some who've already lost homes, family and friends have precious little else in the world. The wealthier Iranians can afford to pay for more luxurious shelter. They band together each evening in hotel lobbies to comfort each other between the many explosions which send shudders through the capital. The city holds its breath until the blasts are no more and the all clear is sounded. This hospital was hit in a recent attack. Sixteen people were killed. But the raids are by no means one way. It's a tit-for-tat cross-country conflict which Iran is warning could become far more horrific if it decides to deploy chemical weapons.